thing to keep in mind is there's no move that should be too easy for you to learn. You will still need a flyaway as a progression, as a good progression, and a way to work up to much harder tricks like these. <laughs> Was that just a shameless plug to show off all of the flyaway variations I have? Maybe, but still. Yo, what is up PK fam? Today I have a tutorial for you on the Flyway remake tutorial because my old one was really sucky. Like, the tutorial itself wasn't bad, but the quality was terrible. Anyway, I got a tutorial for you on the Flyway, also known as the Swing Gainer. So, let's see some examples and then let's just get to it. <laughs> That's not the most perfect setup for a flyway. It's a little too low, especially if you're just learning it. But for teaching purposes, it's fine. <laughs> I pulled something in my abs yesterday and I'm really feeling it now. So if you're just starting parkour or you've been doing parkour, but you just are starting to work on bars right now, this is probably the first bar trick that you want to learn that includes a flip, a flyway. It's not physically hard at all, as long as you have the abs to at least pull over a backflip, which is even harder, honestly, physically, uh, then you will be able to do a flyway. The only thing with this move is, especially if you're just starting off, it can be a little bit scary. And that's where this tutorial will come in handy. There's gonna be three parts of this tutorial. The first part is the technique, like breaking down specific what you need to do with your body second part common things that people do wrong and how to correct it so to get rid of those common habits and then thirdly how to overcome the fear or progressions so that you're not scared of trying the move okay so the first thing you have to do for this move is grab onto the bar or branch so the bar height that you want for this move should be about fingertip length if you are reaching up anything lower than that that means you're gonna have to bend your legs and it might be uncomfortable so it's not a good learning point point. and anything higher than that may be too much height especially if you don't have a ton of air awareness with backflips yet. I probably should not have filmed this tutorial right next to a street, but whatever. But anyway, we're gonna assume that you found a good bar setup when you grab onto the bar, the very first step. Uh, for most swinging moves, we want to have our thumbs on top, so grabbing on top. For the most part, we do not want to grab with our thumbs on the bottom, thumbs on the top. Because if we have a ton of swing and like we swing forward really suddenly, that makes it a lot easier for our hands to slip. Once you've grabbed onto the bar, then now you need to get momentum, which is like just swinging. Just like a swing set, whenever you're going forward, swing your legs forward. Whenever you're going back, swing your legs back. Don't rush it. Simple enough, right? If you start, if you start rushing it and swinging your legs back when you're, when you're swinging forward and vice versa, then you're just gonna kill your swing like this. That's a very bad place to, to demonstrate that because there's a bar right behind me so I keep hitting my tailbone. Anyway, let's continue. Also keep in mind you need to have moderation with the amount of swing. If you have too much swing to the point that you're uncomfortable, then obviously you're gonna be too scared to do a flyaway and just mess up your technique because of fear. But if you have too little swing, especially if you're just starting off, then again, it could hurt your technique. So try to find a middle ground. But uh, using too little swing actually is a good progression, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Anyway, the next part of the technique is the tap. So the tap is just when you activate all of your muscles during the swing. Swings are really hard to explain, especially tapping. I'll probably just show it to you. This. Notice how my legs are completely relaxed for the most part, and this is the tap. So tapping is when you like kind of crunch your abs and swing your legs forward to give you a lot of swing um, all of a sudden. So honestly, up until this point, I've been explaining you how to do a lache, which is just a fancy way of saying swing from a bar. Now the only difference from a lache and a flyaway is instead of crunching your abs, tapping. So instead of tapping and then just going forward, you keep on tapping and then tuck into a backflip. And then from there, it's just about manning up, getting those balls, even if you're a girl, and then <laughs> pulling your knees over over your head, letting go and committing to the full flyaway or swing gainer or backflip. So that's the technique of the move. Anyway, let's move on to part two of this tutorial, which is common things that people do wrong and how to correct it. The first common thing that people do wrong is just letting go at the wrong time. They either hold onto the bar too long or let go too early. I'm pondering whether I want to show examples of that. Yellow? <laughs> so letting go too early, I guess. Yeah. 
If you're letting go too early, you're gonna notice that you're flipping really low to the ground and you're landing really low to the ground. And obviously the way to correct that, hold on a little bit longer. Now let's go to the other side of the spectrum, which is holding on too long. So there's nothing too much wrong with that, but if you start pulling in to the bar as well as holding on too long, then your feet could clip the bar, which is not good. Again, obviously the way to correct that, just make sure that you let go a little bit sooner. The next common problem that people do wrong is pulling into the bar as they're doing the flyaway. Now, what I mean by this is when you do your flyaway, you need to make sure as you're pulling your knees over your head and committing to the backflip that you're simply just letting go of the bar, assuming you're letting go at the right time. What a lot of people do and what I did when I was first learning this move is when you're really scared, I started pulling into the bar uh, to make sure that I finished the flip. But that also, again, obviously got me close to the, closer to the bar, which made it a lot more sketchy because that means it was a higher chance of my feet clipping the bar. So this is the bad version, pulling into the bar. Like, again, that doesn't look terrible, but if you notice, I'm really close to the bar, which could end badly if I start trying double flyaways or if I just happen to have a really bad flyaway. This is a good one, simply just letting go and letting myself travel away from the bar. It may be hard to tell, but I am about a foot farther away compared to that last flyaway I did. So yeah don't pull into the bar. <laughs> My next and last common problem that I sort of see, well, I guess it's not really common, but it's still a problem I see once in a while, is just not doing a full backflip. So what I mean by this is they go really off to the side. This is usually because you're just afraid of committing to a full backflip motion, so you look over your shoulder rather than uh, committing to going straight over. I've never really done this, so I guess there's a first for everything. Uh, I, I honestly don't want to do that. <laughs> but it's basically that, but actually having your hips go over your head. And the way to fix that, just make sure that you lean straight back rather than looking over your shoulder. But anyway, that's the end of common things that people do wrong. Is there anything that I missed? If there was, then comment it below. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing, which is how to overcome the fear of the move. Now, bar tricks in general can be pretty scary. And especially if this is your first bar trick that you want to learn, that can be super scary. So here's a good way of progressing up to it. First thing is learning a skin to cat. Skin the cat. So you're holding onto the bar, just a complete dead hang. You don't need any swing and pull your legs completely through your arms so that you do a backflip, technically, but you're holding onto the bar the whole time. So here, fully through and down. But honestly, what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna do a skin to the cat. Oh my gosh, why can I not say things right now? You're gonna do the skin to cat as many times as possible and then you're slowly gonna add swing. So it can be the slightest bit of swing and then just work your way up. FYI, that's like a really fat branch, so I'm holding on the very top of it, so it's really hard for me to get my legs through. But with a regular bar, that's like relatively just a normal size bar that you can just grab on like this, it, this skin the cat should be easier. And the key point that separates a flyaway from a skin the cat with just swing is that you let go of the bar before you backflip. Another good way to tell if you're doing a flyaway or if you're just doing a skin the cat with swing is if you're landing right under the bar. If you're landing right under the bar, you're most, like doing, most likely doing a skin the cat because you're holding on so long that you just go under the bar. If you're doing a flyaway properly, you're gonna let go so that you're traveling a little bit far away from the bar. So this is me just doing a skin the cat with swing. Notice how I was still like, for the most part, holding onto the bar until I was finished with the backflip. And this is a flyaway. Notice how I traveled a little bit farther away from the bar, almost to the point that I probably went out of frame, and I let go of the bar before I finished the backflip. Ending things with a quick overview, as always, you're gonna get a good amount of swing, make sure that your thumbs are on top of the bar, you're gonna swing forward, and then you're gonna tap, so crunch your abs and swing your legs forward, and then you're gonna pull your knees over your head, and when you let go, make sure you only let go instead of pull into the bar, go in for your tuck, and then land, just like a regular backflip. 
Anyway, that is everything I have for you for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell button. You should also ring that notification bell button because as always, I'm gonna be re remaking more of my old bad tutorials. I'm gonna be making new tutorials. I'm gonna have 10 plus ways. I'm gonna have all get this good jazz, plus the next video that is coming up on my channel. There's a car coming. The next video that will be up on my channel, which is this Sunday, I'm gonna be posting a 10 plus ways to flip off of a friend. It was so much fun to watch. Let's get a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. No, I can't do Saturday. <laughs> what the frick? So yeah, get hyped for that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. PK person out. Woo!